Hey everyone, welcome back to Prime News. We got a packed show for you today. Five massive stories, including when we kind of basically know when the Xbox Series X Pro and the PlayStation 5 Pro are coming, which means we might actually know when the Nintendo Switch 2 is coming. And we're not even talking about a rumor this time. That's badass. We got news on what, three, four different Nintendo Switch games coming this year, one of them next year, oh my gosh, we have a, oh, it's such a packed show. Before we get into the rest though, I gotta remind you that we are giving away two copies of uh, Mario Strikers Battle League. Uh, all you have to do is go down to the pin comment or the description and click on the link to enter to win one of those. Also, by the way, are you guys hyped for Prime Gaming Fest? I know I am. Uh, we have a bunch of special guests lined up, Super Metal Day 64, HMK, Andres Restart, the Gaming Twins, uh, what is that, the Nintendo Academy guy, Mike Perez, yeah, that guy too, and more. Uh, well, this is going to be a, a really fun event. We have sign-ups right now for our Splatoon 2 tournament for Prime Gaming Fest, and sign-ups for Super Smash Bros. tournament as well. I'll put links to that down in the description and the pinned comment too, if you guys are interested to sign up for either one of those tournaments. Uh, and yeah, I hope to see you guys there. Prime Gaming Fest runs June 9th through June 14th, thousands of dollars worth of giveaways. Uh, we'll be posting the schedules uh, soon, and I'll also link to day one and day two of the event so you guys can go set your notifications for that. Uh, we almost have day three locked in as well fully, uh, so things are just expanding as we go. All right, guys, that being said, let's get into our first story, and this deals with Marvel's Midnight Suns. They dropped a new release date and trailer, or supposedly are. This comes from Tom Henderson from Try Hard Games. He said basically that there's going to be a release date and trailer drop next month. Now, if I had to guess, this is probably going to happen during Summer Game Fest on June 9th. But yeah, because I, Square Enix is probably not going to be doing their own event. I, I think that's been confirmed. Square Enix isn't doing their own June event. So I would presume it's either going to drop there or it's going to drop during the Xbox Bethesda Showcase. Now, what's interesting, obviously, about this is Marvel's Midnight Suns we know is coming to Nintendo Switch and it does have an age rating in some territories already suggested it will be coming out this year so yeah we'll see obviously some people presume that this will be a uh, cloud game however it's a bit more of an XCOM style game so there is probably a chance here that it could come natively to Nintendo Switch. We'll hopefully get confirmation on that eventually. But yeah, Marvel's Midnight Suns release date and trailer dropping next month, according to Tom Henderson from Try Hard Games. Next up, our next story is about Dragon's Dogma. You guys remember that game? I don't know. I mean, we do have the uh, most up-to-date version of it on Nintendo Switch, and so that makes this news relevant because a Dragon's Dogma 10th anniversary website opened up. Nothing's really announced on this 10th anniversary website. It just sort of exists, which is interesting. Uh, and it, basically, they have a big discount going on the original game on the Japanese Nintendo Switch eShop. Not on ours, though. But hey, it is region free, so if you could somehow get some yen and buy it in Japan, you could play it here uh, on your US account. Uh, but this is sparking debate over a possible Dragon Dogma 2 finally getting announced by Capcom. Remember, this is a, Cap a Capcom franchise, or so not really a franchise. Well, it's an IP, I guess. Uh, you call it a franchise once you have at least two games. So yeah, Dragon's Dogma 2 uh, looks like people are expecting an announcement next month. Uh, so we'll have to see what happens. Uh, but yeah, I mean, there is a 10th anniversary website and a discount on the Switch eShop in Japan. I guess we'll just uh, have to wait and see on this one. Uh, Dragon's Dogma is actually a really, really good game. Uh, and I'm, I'm really curious what a, a second one could do. Uh, this is like an, it's an RPG. It's basically an action RPG. Uh, I think of like The Witcher. Uh, not fully open world the first one, but I have a feeling the second one would be, so... We'll see what happens. Uh, our next story is an update to a game previously announced for Nintendo Switch, No Man's Sky. You guys remember that? Yeah, we all remember No Man's Sky and some of the lies that didn't come out at launch. And honestly, nowadays, No Man's Sky has actually been patched up to the point that it's actually a pretty good game. And according to a recent press release, the Switch version is almost ready. Remember, it is slated to come out this summer. No release date yet. It says, in the background, this is from the press release, the rest of our small team have been hard at work putting the finishing touches to, among other things, the Nintendo Switch version and some large updates coming. So, yeah, I would think that the Nintendo Switch version with a release date 
will probably appear at a potential Nintendo Direct next month. Uh, so look forward to that to be one of the news that we could expect in a Nintendo Direct in June. All right, next up, we have a really awesome confirmation of what's looking like a really great game. And Euden Chronicles 100 Heroes has been confirmed for Switch. It's an action RPG style uh, game in the, the HD 2D space. You're watching a little trailer on it right now that was announced at the Xbox Showcase last year. Uh, and they said this about the game. They said, that's right. Given recent speculation over the Nintendo Switch and potential next generation Nintendo iterations, we wanted to play it safe and investigate what options we had before fully committing to the Nintendo Switch version. But now the wait is over and we're delighted to confirm that the Yudin Chronicle 100 Heroes will be landing on Nintendo Switch. Now this game, I believe, is a 2023 game. Has no release date at the moment. Looks incredible, as you're seeing in that footage. Uh, and I, I'm really excited to give this one a try. Uh, it is coming to the base Nintendo Switch. It sounds like they were really trying to see what was happening with new hardware. Hey, is new hardware coming soon? If so, we want to focus on that. They decided, you know what? Even if new hardware comes, we're going to put it on the base Switch anyway. So uh, that's, that's really, really exciting stuff. Uh, but not as exciting as our next story. This is unexpected today. So TCL, yes, that company that makes TVs, did a news presentation today. During that presentation, they put up a slide and made statements saying the next Xbox mid-gen refresh, so gen 9.5 as they call it, and the next PlayStation 5 Pro is going to be coming in 2023 slash 24. It will feature a GPU of the 7700 XT variety, which those are not out yet. Um, and so that's like the future AMD GPU. And it will render 4K, so out of a 4K native render output at 60 to 120 FPS, but we'll be able to fully output an 8K signal at 60 to 100 FPS or 120 FPS as well. Now, it, it's not rendering at 8K, but it's more like up resing and outputting an 8K signal. Uh, but right now, like the big thing with PlayStation 5 and Xbox Series X is they don't really render native 4K, they do upscaled 4K. Uh, so basically, now they'll, you know, with these mid gen refreshes, they'll be able to render native 4k at 60 to 120 fps and then output to 8k and up res so that that'll be really really interesting if that comes to pass and why this matters obviously for us here at nintendo prime outside of we always talk about when new hardware might be coming when this stuff comes out this is really weird that's coming from tcl we'll talk about that in a moment is when the pro versions come out well guess what last time that we had a pro version come out the playstation 4 pro the nintendo switch came out within a few months of the playstation 4 pro coming out so this could give you an idea of when we could expect nintendo's next generation system if you base it on the timing of the playstation 4 pro not that i think there's any reasonable expectation to really base the timing on that sales data is probably a bigger reason to maybe expect a nintendo switch next gen at some point here in the next year or two but yeah that's uh that's pretty exciting i've projected for a while that i expected a next generation switch in 2023 or 2024 and this kind of backs that up now why is tcl privy to this this information well, TCL is actually one of the early partners with, with Xbox and PlayStation for validation of their system's outputs. So uh, TCL would obviously be working directly with Microsoft and Sony to validate new hardware on upcoming TV products. So yeah, that is why TCL would be privy to this information. I presume they got permission to mention this. Um, so there's that as well. So this is the first time we've even heard that these systems exist. And uh, it comes from a TV manufacturer. So that's pretty crazy. Anyways, guys, that's going to do it for Prime News. I want to thank you guys so much for tuning in. I am Nathaniel Rumpel Jantz, as always. And I will catch you guys tonight on the Nintendo Prime Podcast or in our next video. Peace. <laughs>